Bonté, à Paris, à Salam Alaikum, bonjour, welcome to HindriDigital.com. And now, up next, it's all about positioning the hydraulic system inside the leg. Firstly, of course, we need to align it to the leg. So, we select our hydraulic system and then click on the align tool and then, of course, pick the leg. Uh -huh. Of course, I want to align it on the Y position. Okay? And then move it inwards. And of course, you can see it's a bit too big for our liking. So we are going to start by making it thinner from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And a bit taller. We're going to bring it up, as you can see. Remember, I did not use a reference image. So that's, as you can see, we're going to do things, of course, manually. Uh huh. So, scaling things. Uh huh. You can see the position I'm trying to put it into. It, it should be a bit up from the legs position, from the from the floor. Okay. So move it up as you can see. And then we're going to select the rotation tool. Turn on the angle snap toggle and then simply rotate it. Let's say at 25 units or 35 degrees on the Y axis maybe 35 is too much so maybe like that okay 25 degrees on the X on the Y axis we're going to select the scaling tool turn off the angle snap toggle we want to scale it if we, if we scale it right now the scaling proportions will not go properly so we want to scale it we're going to change the reference coordinate system here to the local axis uh -huh. Now, of course, you notice we can be able to scale it up and down very, very accurately. Yeah. First, of course, we want to move the leg, the hydraulic system further into the leg. Mm -hmm. Select the scaling tool. Uh -huh. You can see, of course, where it is positioned at this point. Okay. And then clearly, this guy here needs to be made much, much smaller. First things first. Okay, let's see. We're going to select the. We're going to select it as long uh, as well as this cylinder there. Mm -hmm. Select the scaling tool and of course scale them, not down, but okay. F okay, l l let me do it the following way. I'm first going to scale this guy here down. Go to the vertices mode mm -hmm. and of course we want to pull these vertices outwards again. Now this one needs to come up a bit more. Okay. Mm -hmm. And of course remember we are always inspecting to make sure it doesn't appear on this side of the leg. Mm -hmm. And then select this tube here. Move it into the structure and of course scale it down as you can see mm -hmm. and then of course select our hydraulic system once more now it needs to sit right inside this object this object here so we're going to scale it of course upwards as you can see pushing it inside like that so that of course in that way at this point mm -hmm, it's nicely sitting inside that structure okay we're going to select this object again and align it according to the leg. Uh -uh, this aligning is not going well. It really needs to be sit in the, seated in the middle. Go to the hierarchy panel, select the affect pivot only, and then let's center it to the object mm -hmm, so that it's in the middle at this point. And then again, align to the leg like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Again, our tube there must come outwards. Yeah, this way now you can see, of course, how properly it's sitting. Mm -hmm. Now, one worry remains is how the, this um, hydraulic system is sitting on this side of the leg. Firstly, let's push it. Let's try to push it inwards like that. Mm -hmm. And we can rotate it then a bit further like that. Mm -hmm. And then, while we are still here, you can see it's cutting into the leg like that we need to fix that 
So, using the power of polygon modeling, we can achieve what we want. We're going to go to the edge mode, and we're going to use this almighty tool here called Quick Slice. Yeah, now, this guy doesn't care, he just slices through. <laughs> so, we use, using the Quick Slice mod, uh, tool, we come here to the front viewport, then we're going to slice it. Uh -huh. Can you see how it's cutting the slice there? We are slicing it, of course, according to the angle at which it's touching the leg. So, slice, hold the mouse and then slice through there and then click. That way, it creates such a cut. Let I'm going to do it again. Select the quick slice. Mm -hmm. Come into the leg. And slice it like that. Okay? You're going to notice it gives us this red line there. Uh -huh. And then now we can go to the vertices mode. Uncheck, ignore back facing so that we can also select the vertices at the back. Now we're of course going to simply delete those vertices that have been chopped off from. Uh -huh. That way, of course, we only end up with this cut, as you can see. Uh -huh. Look at that, eh? beautifully cut. We're going to select the edge mode and of course we still want that, that cut at the bottom. Select the edge and click on loop. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Select the moving tool. Look for the local axis because we want to move it according to local axis. And yeah, simply move it downwards. Mm -hmm. We are simply trying to push it into the leg while at the same time making sure, of course, that it doesn't cut out of the leg like that. So as you can see, we have achieved quite a wonderful result. Now it's properly cut and sitting nicely inside there. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy with, w with what we are doing so far. We're going to select this NGON object over there and just make it a bit wider. And of course, that always means moving the tube out of it a bit more. Mm -hmm. Because inside it, we're making it wider because uh, more hydraulic systems are going to be plugged into it, you know, to make our robot work. And it seems some sections of our hydraulic system now look too small. So we're going to select them. Select the vertices mode. Let's start with these ones here. Oh, in fact, let's simply select the polygon mode. And then, I'm actually showing you a quicker way to work around things. Select all the polygons with the material ID of 2. And of course, those happen to be all those highlighted in red. Uh -huh. We simply want to scale them up. So select the scaling tool. We're going to scale them on the local axis, of course. Mm -hmm. And simply scale them outwards. Let's see. Parent. Uh -huh. Scale them also according to the parent axis. By scaling them down, of course, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just to make them a bit more, much more bigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that way they look, of course, much, much thicker. And now we're going to design these tubes here that connect to the actual body of our robot. So we're going to design cylinders. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I'm still keeping the number of sides to 24. Now, the number of height segments can be reduced, let's see, to, uh, let's see, 3. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, right-click and then make it an editable poly. And then, we are going to select the polygons over there. They need to be scaled down a bit. And also, we are going to now change the moving axis to the view. And simply move those inside like that. Mm -hmm. And we just want to scale it up again on the view mode, okay? And then we're going to rotate it, turn on the angle snap toggle, rotate it to 90 degrees for now, then begin to move it into position. Mm -hmm. Scale it further down and up, and of course pull it out a bit more. Now, this object needs to be perfectly sitting inside this structure here. So, 
we're going to change the view mode here to wireframe and then now of course it seems this guy wants to be modified in other words we're going to begin by adjusting uh, let's see by moving those vertices further down and then of course this guy here comes more up and then of course it means this one here needs to be scaled outwards as you can see mm -hmm. all this simply is done to accommodate this tube here of that still makes part of the hydraulic systems overall mm -hmm. let's change the vertices mode and then move this guy here inwards because it really needs to be sitting inside there and of course clearly it needs to be scaled down also okay again select that object and scale it much wider again and the tube must come out with our tube okay so we're going to select that tube that tube there that cylinder and of course we want to align it to this object here mm -hmm. on the y axis perfect so that of course they're now sitting in the middle like that want to pull some of these vertices here a bit more to the side mm -hmm. and then we are about to complete this hydraulic system completely indeed we're going to select shapes create a line and we're simply going to do it as follows start there and then the line is going to end somewhere there and then right click to complete the line mm -hmm. go to the modify panel and of course it wants to be adjusted so we're going to scale this section here more up and rotate it mm -hmm. this is quite interesting modeling indeed I hope that's how you're also finding it uh -huh. okay go to the rendering of course we want to make, be able to view it in the renderer and in the viewport uh -huh. and this needs to be quite a thick line of course you can see it's a bit too rough so go to the interpolation and then we're going to increase the number of steps to something higher yeah, something like 22 or so mm -hmm. of course now you can see for yourselves what we've been doing <laughs> uh, we just need to be careful because this end here really needs to be more inside the structure and of course it cannot be scaled again okay and of course you want a copy of it so select the line and then go to edit um, actually before we we go further with it let's see open up the material editor hmm, let's see this object here needs its structure just we're going to select yeah it needs a carbon fiber texture so simply give it the texture of the carbon fiber also to the line uh-huh so select the line and then we're going to go to edit clone uh-huh and then of course we want it to be a copy and then hit ok now the clone needs a bit of adjustment so select the line o2 object first things first it needs to be moved downwards of course and then we're going to reduce its thickness oh sorry not the size but the thickness something much thinner not too thin it should still be visible after all mm -hmm. and then of course we want to move its vertices mm -hmm. and you want to scale this side here down okay so you can see of course for yourselves what we have right now we're going to open up the material editor again we're going to select an empty slot here let's call this one here leg color okay it's the one which is going to control the overall color of the legs and um, this should make it easier for us to basically change materials as we like as the scene progresses uh, we're going to copy it from this color here 
this blue color for now and I just paste it for now and we are going to give it to our tube mm -hmm. for now okay and of course by all means please go ahead and save your scene of course you can see of course what we're having at this point mm -hmm. you can see of course something of course is cutting inside here so back to this spline in fact at this point I think we can right click and collapse it right click again and make it an editable poly select the polygon mode and simply select that from polygon there mm -hmm. you can see what it is, it's that big block and simply yeah, move it backwards and yeah, so that in that way we do not need to worry about it ever again uh -huh. by simply moving that block uh, we can push the structure inwards ladies and gentlemen we are now ready to tackle the head of our robot <laughs> so here we go uh, first things first a warning do not need to panic okay you do not need to panic just hang on with me and watch how the tutorial progresses and you will not be disappointed so here we go I know the a structure like a robot really involves quite a lot of thinking and quite a lot of you know creative processes but following a proper workflow you can achieve the proper results so here we go again using the power of spline modeling this is what we are about to do we're going to select a line now this time I want that to be working from this side of the viewport okay so the line we start as follows it starts there and then it's going to bend outwards and of course we're simply going to right click to complete the shape and of course right away we go to the modify panel mm -hmm. and we're going to pull the vertices more or less into position either by scaling and rotating and so forth mm -hmm. Yeah. this is quite an interesting task mm -hmm. now once we've done that let's go ahead and add an extrude modifier to give it some depth at this point uh -huh. and of course you can see it's uh, the texturing is not going so well let's first open up the material editor and simply give it this random material here mm -hmm. you can see it's darkened out because the material mapping is inverted so we are going to add what we call a normal modifier yeah, there it is normal Aha, can you see by adding the normal modifier of course our structure is back into the proper position we can actually drag the normal modifier below the extrude modifier no 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 actually it should be above it ok mm -hmm and now of course it's up to us to determine how much extrusion do we want first increase increase the extrusion as you can see just to make it bigger for now mm -hmm. and of course the number of segments well let's see let's go about giving it hmm, yeah seven segments for now let's go back to the line itself interpolation let's change it instead of 22 it, let's make it maybe, let's see, let's reduce it to something that we can manage yeah, as you can see we've reduced the number of interpolations maybe to 10 or 9 yeah, that way it's not so smooth and of course when it's not so smooth it means we have more power to manipulate how it's going to go about and then before moving on further we're simply going to go to edit clone make a copy of it mm -hmm and let's just move this copy a bit out of the way like that okay and we can focus on this one here so here's what we're going to do again following the principle of what we've been doing so far we are not going to collapse any of these until we know the results that we're working on are perfect so we're first going to start by adding 
let's see ffd 3x3 no 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 instead of, before actually adding the modifier we're first going to add an edit poly modifier mm -hmm. let's go to the vertices and of course we simply want these vertices along there uh -huh. except the ones of course making up this section now to those we are going to add yeah an ffd 3 by 3 by 3 modifier click on it so that we can now begin to pull around the control point and let's start with those towards the back as you can see uh -huh. you can see now we are pulling them outwards mm -hmm. and also I think they, be, be, they need to be pulled upwards like that so this kind of pulling will enable us to create that section where the eye is going to sit okay mm -hmm. and I think they, they need to be pulled further upwards I'm going to turn off the angle snap toggle okay mm -hmm. so you can see of course for yourselves at this point what kind of structure of course that we are having mm -hmm. now if we go ahead and add our beloved shell modifier to give it thickness uh -huh. of course you can see for yourselves what is going on you can increase the number of uh, output amount and of course you can give it one more segment and testing what happens when you have uh, a mesh smooth modifier mm -hmm. you can see what's going on of course let's see two or three iterations yeah giving it three iterations is really what keeps working for us indeed <laughs> okay but before moving on turn on the edge faces again before moving on I'm first going to cut the mesh smooth modifier mm -hmm. and then let's see select this line then we go to edit clone make it another copy okay and now move this clone here backwards okay now this is a structure that's going to be sitting at the back here it's this big shell here okay mm -hmm. it's, um, it's truly amazing what where imagination can take us <laughs> yeah anyways moving on I'm right click on the shell modifier and then select off so that we don't get to see it in the viewport at this point uh-huh and then we're going to select the FFD 3x3x3 three by three by three modifier click on it and then this is what you're going to do you're going to select all the control points let's see uh -uh. we shouldn't try to scale it up instead first we are going to delete this modifier mm -hmm. and then we go back to the extrude modifier look at the top viewport uh -huh. we are going to increase the extrusion as you can see for yourselves of course that makes it much longer mm -hmm. much longer even okay now to this we need to add more segments as you can see perhaps 10 segments to the extrusion mm -hmm. let's go back to the edit poly modifier and of course we want to select also these polygons here towards the front as you can see okay mm -hmm. you can see of course what we've selected there and now we are going we can add now our ffd let's see 4x4x4 four by four by four modifier click on the control points and we will start by doing the following first things first we need to move this line a bit up as you can see mm -hmm. and then we are going to pull to begin to pull these vertices or edges as you can see because these ones really need to be sitting up especially these ones here mm -hmm. and stretching them of course mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in fact we can always
always go back to the line itself and move things accordingly I'm going to press F3 so that we can see the shapes properly I think at this point we can get rid of this FFD modifier for now okay as we are still trying to pull the vertices in place mm -hmm. okay yeah let's go back and see what we've done okay you can see at this point what is going on of course okay and I think it just needs even more adjustment I'm, I'm trying to make this as big as possible so that the eyes can fit perfectly into the structure so of course please follow along as we are working on the result that we want okay your patience is greatly appreciated <laughs> okay let's go back to the edit poly modifier and now we are going to add let's see FFD 3x3x3 by 3 by 3 modifier click on the control point and now we are going to do the following we are going to stretch these ones here these vertices there uh -huh. stretch them outwards as you can see and at the same time no no I think we don't need the FF3 3x3x3 modifier we need a one with the four modifiers 